Welcome to another episode of Sandy Color Projects. Today I'm going to show you how to change out the throttle body and the TPS sensor uh, combined on the KL Cherokee. Um, as you can see, um, that looks really clean. That's because that actually is a new one. I'm actually going to be putting the old one back on it. There's a long story to this, which I'll make incredibly short. One of my friends uh, has been using this car because uh, his car broke down and he needed a vehicle and he's got lots of children he's got to get around, so I let him use this. Um, he had some engine trouble. We went through a bunch of stuff over the phone and I suggested that he replace that. Didn't need to be replaced. There's something else going on. So um, I'm actually going to change it back out with the old one um, because this is a $200 plus dollar part and my buddy doesn't have the cash uh, to sustain a 200 something dollar part that doesn't fix the problem. So I'll put the old one back on. But um, the process of taking this off is going to be really simple. Um, there is a uh, flathead here, a flathead here that takes this hose off. There's a flathead back here that'll take this air box off. This air box pops off of a couple of clips in the back and one on the front and all this stuff comes out of the way. You can see with those two components off, uh, we're right into where the throttle body is. Um, it doesn't take much to get uh, back to it. Um, like I said, two screws on the hose, one screw on this. There's also a clip that connects onto here. I believe it's for your borrow sensor. Um, it just clips off and comes away. Uh, then there are four bolts on the throttle body. Uh, a clip and uh, one wire connection and then this guy comes right off. Right, so here's the throttle body off. Um, it takes four um, eight millimeter or I believe T20 maybe T25. I don't know I wouldn't use the torques it's better with the, uh, the eight millimeter. It bolts directly in the direction that I'm, I'm holding it. This guy right here, the black part, is the throttle position sensor. So it has an electronic hookup, and that's actually what drives. Uh, there's a little gear motor up in here that drives uh, the flap in the middle of it that allows it to go up and down to meter your air for your air fuel mixture. Okay, so inside of there is a gasket. As long as this gasket is in good shape, not messed up and it's sticking out past the edge of the flange so that it compresses it when it goes in, um, that gasket is in good shape. This one looks to still be in good shape. Um, so uh, for this point, this is as far as I'm going to take this job. And the reason I say this is because um, there is other things going on. As you can see, there's a coil right here that's been replaced. Um, there's something going on with the number one cylinder. Uh, so we're going to um, crack the valve cover open. That will be on another job. Um, so that's how you replace the throttle position sensor and the throttle body. Uh, this guy right here just bolts right back up and those two hoses go back on. So hopefully that gets you through uh, changing out your throttle body. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. We'll keep making more content. In fact, we may end up having another video of me pulling off the valve cover, so stay tuned for that.